So today is going to be a long travel day. Today we are flying from Thailand all the way to the Philippines. But the problem is, is we are not flying on a PCR test. We are flying on an antigen test and apparently you can do that now. <laughs> the only problem is, is that our antigen test looks like I have printed it here at home. The only yeah. thing that kind of makes it official is the little stamp in the corner. I mean, it doesn't even have a QR code. Oh gosh. <laughs> so let's hope that we can get into the Philippines using an antigen test and there are no problems. Ooh. Yes! We are here. Guys, enjoy your sleep. We will, I thank you. See you again, man. All right, so we've made it to the airport and let's hope that they can take our antigen test <laughs> so that we can get to Bangkok. <laughs> How nice is this airport? I really wasn't expecting this airport to look so fancy. How long are you staying in Bangkok? We're going to take another flight to the uh, to Philippines, so it's going through Malaysia. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you. So they didn't actually ask us for our antigen test as we're only flying to Bangkok. Bangkok so, so I think that's not a requirement to be flying within Thailand, which is good. <laughs> so now we have to go and wait at the declaration place, is that what you Yeah, where well, they're going to check our luggage and hope there's nothing weird inside there. Yeah. But the one thing that we are worried about is the minute we fly out of Thailand from Bangkok, which will be going through Malaysia, I think there they're going to ask us for our test. And let's just hope that our antigen test is 100% fine because I'm slightly nervous. <laughs> This is such a pretty airport. Normally you'd be in this big building with the runway on the side, but here we are walking through little tropical gardens in order to reach our departure gate. It's so pretty. I feel like I'm in a holiday resort. <laughs> hey? It does feel like that. They even have bean bags you can sit on and chill until you leave. <laughs> Have you ever seen this in an airport? Like, come on! So in this airport, they literally have a courtesy corner with coffee, drinks, biscuits, water, juice, you name it, all for free. Who needs a lounge? This is amazing. <laughs> oh, nested lemon. Oh, I guess we have lunch sorted, right? <laughs> That's good. Baby, they have chicken pie. No way. Yeah, check there. Is that the chicken Mahon pie? Mahon chicken pie, yeah. Take one of those. Take like five. You <laughs> can't take five. Well, this is a cool way to the plane. I think that might be our plane. Bye, Samoy. Gonna miss you. Fifty minutes later, we've arrived in Bangkok. So as we climbed off the plane, they gave us these little baggies with some food and water and snacks inside. We have now a four-hour layover until we're going to move on to Singapore. And I think that's when the antigen test is going to come in handy <laughs> the problem is is we did our antigen test now more than 24 hours ago which is what they say is required on the internet so whew, let's just hope everything's fine so bangkok has got two airports i'll show that on the screen right here because they are hard to pronounce but we've arrived at the one and we need to leave from the other one so we're taking a bus in order to get from one airport to the other so you can classify this as our quick tour of bangkok traveling through bangkok is just so interesting like there's so many buildings and so many trees all around but there's certain things that stand out like a toll gate like everybody has a toll gate in their own country but when you see a toll gate in another country for some reason you're like wow they have a toll gate 
more high. <laughs> Another thing that I've also noticed and I'm pretty surprised about is Bangkok is actually really built up. I wasn't expecting so many buildings. Wow, 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 wow. At least you can say we left the airport. <laughs> It looks like we might just be stuck in Bangkok because they are not accepting our antigen tests. In this condition, you have to do RT-PCR tests. What? Travelers with previous COVID infection. But that's within 6 to 60 days. Yes. So we haven't had COVID? We haven't with had COVID within that. But the date was... So, so we, we can't go on antigen tests? Yes. Even we haven't been sick? We haven't been sick. But we, we, we fully vaccinated. They say if you're fully vaccinated, you only need to do antigen tests. Uh, on the website it shows that. I do have, yes. We've basically been here for an hour now. And I uh, think she's going to start contacting the Malaysian authorities to see if we can hopefully get through the airport. One moment. No problem. This seems to be going the right direction. I hope. And you don't have check-in bag, yes, right? Oh, uh, no, no. I try first. May I have your passport? No problem. Your, your passport for Malaysia. I know, for, for Philippines. Philippines. And your booking, please. There it is. I think Malaysia, please do not need the immigration. Just oh, wait, go no. through the transfer desk. Oh, well, thank you. And no you. food, no room facility, no transfer facility. So we could have no food for 20 hours? This to boarding pass for Kuala Lumpur to Manila. Be careful. Enjoy your evening. Thank you. Thank you. Cook and crap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the flight is about to board. Oh, well, we it's actually busy boarding. We literally just got our tickets. We haven't eaten lunch and there's no dinner. dinner. And apparently things are about to get worse. We'll explain everything once we're in Malaysia. But this is actually turning out to be a disaster <laughs> and a joke at the same time. But let's go. Let's go. Come, come, come. happening right now wait did you come straight to the massage chair yeah i did <laughs> it looked comfortable so where do we actually begin telling you this story the story actually was about whether or not you could fly to philippines on an antigen test and well long story short you can but not without its complications so basically we got to the airport and as we we're about to get our boarding passes or only when we gave in our passports they asked us for a pcr test but we were like, we only need an antigen test. We had to convince them with every single document that we were going to Manila because they wanted a PCR test for us to enter Malaysia. As our, which we were not doing. Yeah, <laughs> as our flights were two separate flights, they didn't see it as an interconnecting flight. So we kind of had to convince them that during our eight hour layover, which we are currently sitting in now, that we weren't actually going to leave the airport. That was just an absolute disaster. We managed to board the plane just in time, by as you saw. By the skin of our teeth. By the skin of our teeth. So we're sitting here now in Kuala Lumpur Airport for eight hours. Um, probably gonna sleep on the floor for the very first time in our <laughs> lives, but I guess this is exciting, right? Uh, this is part of travels. <laughs> we even bought snacks in Bangkok airport at duty free because they said that none of the stores would be open. Yeah, so we thought we were gonna go hungry, but <laughs> apparently not. <laughs> we managed to get a flat, like food on the flat, but there are no stores open here, so that might just be our snacks. Yeah. So now let's sleep on the floor because we're exhausted and our flight is in eight hours time. And, and let's hope there's no more hiccups. Yeah, let's hope <laughs> that we get into uh, Philippines in Manila and they don't require anything more. So this is our spot for the night. Oh, found a Malaysian coin. Sweet. Penny for good luck. I placed my towel down, so I think that's a good sleeping spot. Looks pretty good, baby. Oh, yes. Good night, baby. Good night, sweetie. I love you. Love you too, my sweetie. Peace. 
So that was the worst sleep ever. If you can call it sleep. <laughs> There's so much noises and music and they had construction sounds. It just kept us awake the entire time. That's the aircon hole that keeps blowing on us. So cold. But I guess we can't complain. <laughs> it's an adventure so at least we can tick off that we've slept on an airport floor. <laughs> and that's where we slept. We are literally camping. <laughs> we even had our own little trees. <laughs> so this is breakfast. It's called Bangkok cookies. And... They look like this. Bangkok cookies. They're these small little rice cakes. Pretty good. Not bad. Mm. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Finally getting because onto the last flight. So Philippines, here we come. And you have no TV again. What are we going to do this time? Sleep. Look, look out the window. No, sleep. <laughs> Definitely sleep. <laughs> I get to join the Kesalamatan, barangan besar sebesar SPB tempatkan di ruang penyimpanan di atas dan barangan kecil seperti galas And four hours later, we touched down in Manila. I'm so excited. <laughs> Are you excited? I absolutely cannot wait to go and explore the Philippines. Seeing those islands from above were already giving me like massive excitement. <laughs> <laughs> We made it to the Philippines, we made it to the Philippines. Oh, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even like manage to take it in that we were actually leaving Thailand. <laughs> I actually feel a little bit sad. I've really yeah. grown to love Thailand. I've absolutely enjoyed the people, Yo, the food. Everything. We were there for two months. You know, the plane flyovers, the black. Yeah, and said the food, the pad thai was amazing. The crystal clear waters of oh, Pipi. Beautiful oh. waters, beautiful mountains. Songkran, that Songkran, was amazing. The best thing we ever did, like absolutely amazing. We will 100% come back to Thailand and I'm sure we'll be going to the northern side oh, the next time sure. we come back. So Thailand, it is not the last time you see us and we cannot wait till we see you again. Of you that says, I just have to follow that because you don't know who you. 